Alright guys, I'm back with Heroes for Hire. Um, I just finished filming my uh, Infinity Thor Infinity War review, so uh, here we go with So So Toys Iron Warrior. Uh, first thing I want to say is the box art is um, heavily inspired by Hot Toys. All this stuff, and I'm actually kind of surprised and impressed by the quality of it. Um, so this figure, I'm not going to say it's bare bones because what do you really expect, but it um, it definitely doesn't have a whole lot in the box. There's a lot of empty space around here. Um, I like this figure. I really do. Here are a couple things about it though. The head sculpt is like the bare minimum to qualify for the criteria of eh good enough <laughs> like that's its category um the hair is not bad i'd say the hair is right on point the likeness is is not there at all you got a white guy with a beard that's that's iron fist that's danny Rand. that's uh what's the guy's name who plays him i just keep thinking sir loris tyrell but that's not his name uh yeah i cannot remember his name um anyway it's not him so the other thing is and it doesn't really look like it on camera and honestly you don't really notice it unless you look hard but the skin tone of the body and the head do not match um the face is a little bit darker whatever so um the body looks good no real ab crunch though but it's it's tight it looks good in action poses the abs look real I like it a lot um, yeah you got these visible joints whatever um, so as far as the iron fist it glows it has a, a normal colored wrist peg and then uh, you can sort of see the peg into the, the hand the glowing the, the transparent hand um, so you know, whatever. The Iron Fist is the Iron Fist. It's it's not like it has a light up effect or anything. And to be honest, I'm glad it doesn't because I don't really want to pay for it. So this is a good alternative to that. And I'm sure if you really wanted to, if you care, you could find a way to rig it up with lights. Um, he actually comes with a couple hands. Um, so he's got like this this thing. Uh, martial arts hand. He's got a relaxed hand and fists. He's also got two iron fists. So I only put on one and the neck, the neck, sorry, the, the, the wrist peg is a little small and I had some trouble with the other hand. Ah, come on. Of course. But, um, let me see if I can show you doing both of them. I know he doesn't normally have both of them, but... I'm having a hard time getting this wrist peg out. So you know what? He actually comes with two wrist pegs. So let's use one of those. Because to hell with this. Um, I'm going to try to do this on camera. It's not ideal ah. yeah we're having some trouble ah. I went through this for the first one as well which is, I'm a little bit reluctant to put it on the other hand, but I guess since I'm using a different wrist peg, it wouldn't matter. I'm trying to like push it into my thigh here. I mean, this is difficult. The, the hole's not big enough. I also have big fingers, which doesn't help because I can't even really grip it the way it's supposed to be to apply enough pressure. So while I do this, hmm, while I do this, uh, let's talk about Luke Cage back there for a second. 
So a lot of people have been commenting on my Luke Cage review from long ago, asking, "So so toys, you really come on, man? Fuck me here." Um, asking for me to sell him, and uh, I, I'm not gonna sell him because the show got canceled. So the, I'll probably never see another one on the market. But it seems like a lot of people are asking now because the show got canceled. And it seems like this version of Luke Cage is uh, is is out, out of stock. I, I did some research. I don't see him around. So I assume that's what all the questions are about me selling him. I'm still I'm still trying to get this in there. I probably need to heat it up. So okay. Well, that's not happening right now. Um, now, he's on a, a... I have a... I bought a bunch of oval block stands. He comes with his own thing here. But it's, it's a lot taller than my Luke Cage one, which is not a criticism of the figure because it's not their problem, but... Um, I don't want to dedicate this much shelf space to an Iron Fist figure. <laughs> so, we are talking about a... A, a ranking system of characters and and especially uh, source material and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and say that Iron Fist doesn't make the cut in terms of um, you know what I'm willing to allocate for him so he's on a black oval stand so that he matches Luke um, now let me get his other fist back in there. Oh, damn it. Come on. So, so toys, I hope you're watching this. There we go, finally. Okay. So he's got some uh, long pant strings. Man, it's getting dark in here. I was using the natural light, but it's daylight savings, and yeah. I've got two lights on in here, but let's shift it over. I'm going to shift this over. Hope you guys don't mind. <laughs> so now he's getting the light from my collection. So he's got really long strings, whatever. I thought they were weird at first, but now I don't even notice them, so it is what it is. I mean, this is a pretty cool figure, right? It's also a lot of fun. That's an important thing. Um, he articulates very easily. It all looks good, aside from the visible joints. I don't care. Um, this, these pants are actually pretty good quality, well tailored. Surprising quality. Um, it, it, it goes straight down to his ankle peg, so you don't see anything there. It looks very snug on him. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, the tattoo looks good. Let's look at his back. I mean, from the back, it looks just like him, right? What is that guy's name? I can't remember. Um, okay, so now I left him with the shir shirt off to show you guys because I just got him, but I actually intend to put the green sweater on him. So hang on, watch me do this if you want. It doesn't come with, with him wearing it. It's not a Ziploc bag, so I had to be a beast and rip it off. From what I saw in the promo pictures, it doesn't sit, the hood doesn't sit well, which 1-6 scale hoods typically don't. You usually have to attach some sort of like adhesive to the head sculpt to make it sit properly, or like a magnet, which we've seen. Um, so I'm not going to put the hood on him. I mean, I will for the review, but in general. Do I need to take the fists off? God damn it. All right. 
We're gonna suffer again, guys, as I have to put the fists back on. You guys seeing this? Sort of. I would love a uh, Jessica Henwick figure, but she, it's really hard to do women that I've seen. Like, there are only a few female sculpts that I would even say are worth putting on my shelf. One of them's Hella, which just got released. The Civil War Black Widow's not bad. The Maria Hill's not bad, but I can't say there's a whole lot else. What the hell happened here? Well, now you guys know not to do this. Come on, come on. Okay, I got it. Just trying to zip this guy. Again, my big fingers, I cannot grab. Come on, baby. There we go. Let me just put the, the hands back on. I'm going to spare you from watching my suffering. Right hand is in. Left hand is in. Okay, we got it. Don't worry, so-so toys. Crisis averted. Um, I, I, I'm not crazy about him being barefoot, but I guess I'm okay with it. Because Danny was kind of a weirdo, so... Okay, this is what we got now. Forward a bit. Okay, so I was planning on displaying them without the hood. Mainly because I don't want two hooded figures. Um, I like the dragon tattoo showing. And um, let's do a quick pose. Likes to do that in the show, doesn't he? Pull that arm back. And doesn't he do like a square stance, something like that? Yeah, I think I like the one fist better. Um, I, I, that's not that much time to mess around with it, but. Um, I like this pose. I think I like, I like it. I like the one fist better than two. I'm glad I didn't do that. Um, head sculpt looks a little better with the, uh, sweater on, strangely enough. Now, let's put him, since it's dark, let's, let's put him back home. Take Luke. Well, I want to show them all, so. I'm going to grab a black oval stand real quick so that I can. Let's talk about this for a second. That kingpin, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep him. Um, I like the body, which is basically why I bought him, thinking that someone would do a nice sculpt of it at some point of Vincent D'Onofrio so that I could. Uh, Swap the head sculpt and have a nice King Queen figure, but it doesn't seem like that's happening, so. He's taking up some shelf space. Okay, there's Daredevil down. Just want to, so that you guys can compare the heights. Take 
take a step back. Sorry, guys. So I think Iron Fist will go in the... See, his pose is cool enough, I think, to be in the front, especially compared to Luke Cage. Um... Who is the tallest? Although Dead Dead Daredevil is kind of close. Um, I don't want to keep putting the camera down, but I, I guess I'll, I'm going to straighten what's his name's legs so that you guys can really see the, the height difference. Have a look at Black Panther's chest for a bit. Um, I know I should stop the video, but I'm too lazy so to edit it later. I'm not going to pretend my, I'm a professional. So Luke is a little bit shorter, about on par with Daredevil, but Daredevil has the boots, that's the other thing. Um, Daredevil's a little tall with that Deadpool body now, but who cares, way better. Um, so yeah, there's three of the defenders, yellow, green, and red. Um, Jessica Jones, I, I know there's that one version out there, but... The head sculpt looks so weird. I mean, she's... I'm not saying she's not attractive. It's just she's got weird features that don't translate well. I mean, basically, if you don't get them right, if you don't nail it, then the character looks like a freak, which is kind of what you've got with that, with that version that's out there. So, um... All right. Yeah, so a lot of shake-up if you just watched my other review of... Uh, Infinity War Thor, spoiler alert, I did not choose to keep him. Um, I kept the head and the eye patch, and the rest is in that box right there about to be sold off on eBay or something. So, um, And I also got the Loki Ragnarok head and helmet, so that's coming. Um, what else we got? Whatever happened to T'Chaka? He was released so long ago. I still haven't heard a thing about him. Um, Killmonger supposedly on the horizon as well. Um, I recently sold my Spider-Man figures. I, I might buy the Iron Spider, inspired by the Spider-Man PS4 game. I love to wear it at night. So um, I kind of like that one, but I really like the Far From Home suit, the black and red one. So I think I might go for that. And like as I said in my Thor review, I don't like to keep multiples of the same figure. So I had to sell the other two off. Um, Batman is kind of the only exception for that and sometimes Cap although I've since gotten rid of all the alternate Cap versions um, yeah thinking about maybe getting rid of Tarkin as well just looking in terms of space I've noticed a little bit more uh, interest in, in this franchise again But anyway, all right, guys, until next time, stay safe out there with the fires coming, going around and all that. All right, see you guys.